Silberman calls Trump a pig after church shooting, but his next few words are even worse. President Donald Trump gets grief from the left, regardless of what he says and does, and the recent tragedy in Texas proved no different. Within hours of the horrendous mass shooting inflicted on a church in Sutherland Springs, our commander-in-chief immediately addressed the tragedy, expressing his deepest condolences. However, political commentator Keith Olbermann was immediately fired up about the president's remarks, calling Trump a pig. However, it was his next few words that were even worse. While President Donald Trump is away in Asia, a disturbing incident took place at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas. As the congregation gathered for their weekly services, 26-year-old Devin Patrick Kelly walked into the church shooting, resulting in 26 dead and several more injured. Despite the fact that the president is across the globe, Trump didn't hesitate to address the heartbreaking incident by expressing his condolences on social media. As any respectable public figure would do, Trump immediately addressed the disturbing incident that unfolded in Texas, but it wasn't good enough for Olbermann. In fact, it would only set him off. Trump wrote, May God be with the people of Sutherland Springs, Texas. The FBI and law enforcement are on the scene. I am monitoring the situation from Japan. However, with just those three sentences, Trump left Holberman so infuriated that the enraged leftist resorted to name-calling, aimed directly at the President of the United States. Olbermann, who's currently the host of GQ's political web show The Resistance with Keith Olbermann, not only disrespectfully called the president a pig, he went on a nonsensical temper tantrum, and it's what followed his name calling that made the situation so much worse. Olbermann responded to Trump's tweet, saying, You pig, real Donald Trump. If the shooter were a person of color or a Muslim, you'd be heading home calling for the death penalty. Not only was Olbermann calling Trump a pig because Trump was invoking God instead of gun control, the liberal lunatic also engaged in racist divisive rhetoric while he threw all common sense aside, ignoring the fact that the shooter is dead, so the death penalty can't be demanded, it was already dished out in the form of instant justice. This is truly disgusting. Not only is he blatantly disrespecting the President of the United States by calling him a pig, he appears offended by Christian values, so much so that logic has been completely cast aside. What's more, could you imagine if Trump did demand the death penalty in this case? The liberal press would have a field day, painting him as a moron for saying such a thing when the subject is already deceased. Yet, they get away with it time and time again since they also said something similar regarding the Vegas shooter. The double standard is so blatantly obvious, it's sickening. Secondly, the fact that Holberman is assuming Trump would react differently solely based on the gunman's skin color or religion is ridiculous. In fact, when the Islamic terror attack struck the Orlando Pulse nightclub, Trump responded very similarly to a remark he made about the current shooting in Texas. According to Breitbart, Bart, Trump responded to the Orlando tragedy, inflicted by a Muslim gunman, by saying, if some of those great people that were in that club that night had guns strapped to their waist or strapped to their ankle, and if bullets were going in the other direction, aimed at that guy, for whom this was just, target practice, you would have had a situation which would have, been, horrible, but nothing like the carnage that we as a people suffered this weekend. Similarly, following the shooting in Texas, Trump noted that a resident with a gun engaged the church assailant. Fortunately, the president said, somebody else had a gun that was shooting in the opposite direction. In both cases, the president focused on our Second Amendment rights and how they can save lives, not the skin color of the shooter. In fact, it seems it's the liberals who bring up race and religion each time something happens, using it unjustly to fault the president. Furthermore, in his tweet, Trump was simply asking God to help those who are affected by the killer's twisted attack at the church. Their faith will be tested for the coming days, months, and even years as a result of what they experienced. They're in need of God's guidance and comfort now more than ever before, considering the tragedy and loss they just experienced. Praying for that for them isn't wrong. It's compassionate. It's a shame that our country is turning into a place where, during a time of tragedy, 
even our president can't seek God's help without liberals becoming unhinged and going on illogical tirades. In reality, the best thing we can do for the people at Sutherland Springs is to seek God's comfort for them through prayer. Just because the left wants to step on the bodies of those who were killed and push their political agenda for gun control, it doesn't mean the rest of the nation agrees. Whether Olbermann wants to admit it or not, if someone in the congregation had been carrying concealed, far fewer people would have been killed, and killed.